Hello to everyone watching this footage, it's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like how the late Stan Lee did with his. For this particular footage, I'm going to introduce three new characters, and I hope you guys would appreciate the sequences I can in introducing them to you guys and such. And if you guys bear with me, I'll try my best to keep it comprehensible and such. You know, here are the characters here. Just bear with me. Zally Hither. Real name, inapplicable. Length, 30 feet. Weight, 3 tons. Status, hero and ally of Madame Shear. Base, the altered dimension. Mobile. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior. Loving, protective, and sassy. She enjoys defending the innocents. Lethality. Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses. Low temperatures and rejection. Powers. She possesses similar powers as Meluzine, but she doesn't have wings. She also possesses strong pheromones and uncanny beauty. Eyes. Light green. Hair. Platinum white and braided. Origin. In the Altered Dimension, the native Meluzine is a heroic snake woman known simply as Zally Hither. One day, Madame Shear transported Zally to the default dimension and asked Zally to help with a mission involving a killing spree by the murderous Cobra. After a time of tracking the villain down and struggling to stop her wrath, they finally defeated Cobra when Zally constricted her into blacking out. Since then, Zally would do all that she can to help Madame Shear and other heroes with objectives, regardless of any controversies involved. Costume? She wears a turquoise fabric top, team solitary with Madame Shear and other heroes, origin inspiration, snakes. This character would be one, a very powerful character and that I hope you guys would develop an interest with and such. It's all on you. Abs. Real name, Abigail Strong. Height, 100 feet. Weight, 55.5 tons. Status, hero and leader of Team Muscle. Base, the default Earth of the Altered Dimension. Mobile. Intelligence, Three brains. Behavior. Witty, confident, and extremely tough. She always enjoys putting her powers into good and heroic use. Lethality. Extremely lethal, but only during a fight or when angered. Weaknesses. She is not always careful of her powers. Powers. She has great size, along with being completely bulging with muscles. She also has high agility, along with being strong enough to rip a galaxy in two with only her bare hands. Eyes, yellowish-green. Hair, orangish. Origin. Abigail Strong was once an average teen, living in the default Earth of the Altered Dimension, who was always fascinated with the kaiju fights native to her home planet. One day, her dreams came true when she was invited by the native Galactica into getting a special injection to her neck. And in seconds, Abigail became 100 feet tall, along with developing huge muscles. After a time of training, Abs had teamed up with Rock, Dragoness, and Blue Muscle in a fight against opponents from another dimension. Nazi, Karaka, Sila, and Crystal. After winning the fight, Abs decided to travel across the infinite dimensions and eventually became the founder and leader of a hyper-powerful hero team known as Team Muscle. Costume. She wears a variety of skin-tight latex suits. Teams. Solitary. Leads Team Muscle or with other heroes. Original inspiration. Muskra. For this last character, I hope you guys could, uh, Bear with me and such. This is a character where you have to understand another character in order to get 
and I hope you guys could forgive me about it. Here they are. Here it is. Bad Beatrix. Real name inapplicable. Height 875 feet. Weight 107 tons. Status villain and enemy of Queen Beatrix. Base the untrusted dimension mobile. Intelligence. Four brains. Behavior. Loving, destructive, and moody. She'll do anything to annihilate her innocent counterpart at all costs. Lethality. Extremely deadly to most targets. Weaknesses. Her counterpart and rejection. Powers. She has the same powers as Queen Beatrix, along with possessing an utterly chaotic personality. Eyes. Vivid red. Hair. Bright gold in shoulder length. Origin. In the untrusted dimension, the native Queen Beatrix is rather a chaotic version of her known as Bad Beatrix. For a time, Bad Beatrix thought she was a one of a kind, but when Queen Beatrix arrived one day, Bad Beatrix found that she has to keep herself from getting dethroned, dethroned of her glory. After a fight against Queen Beatrix, Bad Beatrix ended up being, getting defeated by the hyper-powerful Commanderette, who arrived to rescue Queen Beatrix from an impending death. Since then, Bad Beatrix will do all that she can to kill Queen Beatrix. Costume. She wears similar clothes as Queen Beatrix. Teams solitary or with other villains. Order inspiration, Queen Beatrix. Well, I... Hope you guys appreciate the three characters that I've introduced, and I hope you don't mind about different circumstances. I hope this setting that I've made where this room is dark would help with me appearing visually tolerable and such, because I apologize if it seems insignificant. I'm trying all that I can to improvise with whatever I do have available. So I hope you guys forgive me. And um, if you guys want, I could do heads up and sequences for upcoming videos. But only if you guys want me to do it. You don't... Like, I'll only do it if you guys want me to. Because it's very important for what the audience thinks about certain aspects. And what they want. Which is very sacred. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hope you guys have a fine rest of this month and a fine April month. Until next time, in transmission.